I'm Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Flute Art Studio and I'm an artist who works basically with fluid acrylic pouring but it's not always poured. Sometimes it's squeeze bottled and spread around with a spatula and that's pretty much my idea right now. That's shiny taffeta. I'm a color art affiliate. So you can find a 20% off color art coupon code below the video. That was a prism pour. This is Isadora. This is a primary element. This is Tuscan Sun, another prism pour. And I am thinking I'm going to add some sour lemon with orange crush just because I can. That's the name of my first book also on the Amazon link. having a turntable. I'm not sure where this is going to go, so I'm not really trying to explain myself very well right now. I may even fast forward through some of this. I'm expecting inspiration to come from the colors. I'd like it to cover the canvas, so I want a fairly heavy layer covering the canvas by, I mean, preventing the, the texture of the canvas from being predominant. So I've got some saffron. And I think I'm just going to use that right like it is. See how I can blend it into the other paint. And keep going. I've got jasmine. This is my art therapy today for certain. got some poinsettia, which is another prison port. The jasmine is a primary element. And I want to use the poinsettia with another color. What other color would it be? I have some magic slippers. We'll give it a try. Magic slippers is a primary element. And it reminds me of water lily, which is a new Prism pour, which is a slightly more purpley color. And I think I'm going to use some Miami Magenta, as long as I can get the tab out of the top. color makes me want blue. That paint chip makes me want it to be removed. Wherever I stop I can always add something like white or black in the background in my opinion. So far anyway. I'm gonna go back to the saffron. I like to leave the paint on my spatula. I'm going to find my orange crush. Use some of it. I 
fully expect to add marks over this background, but you can never tell what's going to happen. I like to be open to the idea of change. That's more Tuscan Sun. I've got some some white, which I think is Artist Loft, but it could be Vivid Intense White too. I'm thinking about using some of it. Just to see how I like the result. That was quite a bit. Maybe we'll put a little bit of jasmine up there. See what happens. One up with a chip. I like stripes, so if I get a bunch of color affecting my white, it's not a bother. It's actually my preference. I also like layering things, which I don't do nearly enough. I think I want some more saffron right there. Don't ask me why. still craving that Egyptian blue. I'm thinking about Egyptian blue a lot. But I'm liking what the white is doing. So pardon my head, I can feel it knocking into the little marble that I keep dangling to keep me aware. I see no reason to wipe my spatula off. The colors are nice and nice and pure with the exception of adding some of that white, which is really okay. Let's see if I can find that Egyptian blue. The uh, indigo violet would work nicely also. And what have I got here? I've got Prussian violet. That might work. But I really want what I'm not seeing, of course. Egyptian blue. Blue velvet might be. Yep, blue velvet might work. I've also got the new viola blue. Should have picked it out before I started. But I have just noticed that a color I was thinking about before I started the painting is right there in view, and that was Bally High. So maybe I'll do both. I'm being called to and I've got some leftover Deco Art 24 karat gold. So here's the Valley High, but I'm still hoping that the um, there, I found it. Yay! Ha! The Egyptian blue will show up. A little more jasmine. I seem to be making a geometric, but there's no, no rhyme or reason. Like I said, I expect this to be a stage one. I want stronger color than that. So maybe I should clean my spatula off. I like
like the patterns I make, but I can't really keep them. And if I'm going to use the blue, I definitely want to clean my spatula off. Finish up with my studio rag and hopefully it's still damp from yesterday. There is a certain amount of buildup of paint because I have polypore in the paint. if I have it all the way open, but sometimes it's plugged inside too. I didn't realize there was any schmutz in there. I really thought it was gone. See that little thing it does not want to dry in the painting. And I actually got it. I'm really thinking more Egyptian blue and more Bally High. And maybe some of this Prussian violet. The, the Egyptian blue is a prism pour. Try that first. I want to add mark making over this. try a little bit more of the Prussian Violet. I think I really like that. And then I'm going to go with Valley High, which looks like I've been using quite a bit of it, and it's a prison pour. some purple. So I'm going to go with, I am going to go with, and where was I going to put it? <laughs> I guess I'm going to put it right there. That's the African violet. Yeah, that's exactly right. Not that the Prussian Violet wasn't good, because it was. I'm thinking white in here, but I'm not sure it's going to be clean. And I could use a clean tool. I have a smaller Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. That's what I was thinking, was making some lines. Just adding some overlaid areas. I seem to have more paint there than I know what to do with. It'll probably dry though. I'm wondering what to do with this, and I'm feeling like it should be Something like Rhapsody Rose, which I love. Maybe if I have it handy, I can use some. What do I have? I think it's French silk. Let's 
try a little left-handed action. Can't forget I've still got paint. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to do that. Still got paint on my other spatula too. A little more jasmine. Take some bottles out of my way. Look at what I've got. I'm still still feeling the uh, Egyptian blue or the. I didn't use any of the um, blue suede. looks like it needed to be shaken up a little more but it'll still create some nice texture like that and it is giving me the feeling I have a painting in my hallway that I absolutely love it's huge like in three by four feet and I see it all the time and it inspires me but I haven't thought to give myself permission to do anything similar to it in fluid art and now things are not going that well with my channel so I might as well do whatever I want <laughs> to tell you the truth. And I seldom do a spatula uh, seldom do a completely spatula poured or spatula swiped. I don't think that was a mistake. I think that was a mistake. You know what? I've got some a color I almost never use and I really should because I like it and it's called Big Apple. And when that timer goes off I'm going to stop my camera before it runs out automatically and uh, come back. What do I want to do with this? I don't want to waste my paint, I just want to use it up, but I don't want to put it someplace that doesn't belong either. I want to use that small spatula again. I could be using a palette knife, I suppose. All right. I don't hate that, but I want something to mute the red a little bit, some saffron. And some sour lemon. Yeah. I just eradicated it. Sorry. All right. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Let's make sure I can focus. There we go. I'm curiously enough being drawn to some sea glass, which is a primary element. Sometimes I just want to put a, a dab of paint down and uh, not do anything with it. Just let it set. It's weird working without a turntable. I want to be able to use this. Sometimes the paint dries along the way and then I have, I can add colors that I couldn't normally do. Overlay them. I'm going to be careful of that. That's got to go, I think. I was curious as to how that would work. I think I want something down here more. I've 
still got plenty of paint on my blade over here. It seems like it should be useful. I think that spatula needs to get recycled into the bucket. Time to grab a new one. Happy to have new ones. That's the paint right off the blade of the spatula, the other one. I like the surprise that happens when I don't realize what the colors are on my spatula and I put them down and I see new marks. I know I can always cover them. I really want some pink up there and I think it's going to have to be some plum blossom as well as whatever else. All right, I like these funky marks here. I may be adding more funky marks because this is still day one with this and I'm not sure how far that's going to go. So I'm going to put some jasmine up here and then I'm going to use the residual down here, I think. Love playing with how these color art prism pores, primary elements, vivid, intense. I love how they layer. And when you're doing pouring, you're not usually seeing much that I want. I could do dots over this too, I'm not getting a clean line. So. Oh, that was unexpected. Oh well, never mind. Clean off my spatula. I'm kind of liking this. A little more Prussian violet. I'd like to put make a palette of colors, put them out in an addition. You know, just maybe dip um, dip tongue depressors or some of those other tools in there. I like how things come start to come come together just spontaneously. Not sure about that mark there. Can't be too greedy with the leftover paint on my spatula. This is a good place to steal some, some white though. Because I left that puddle. Minding that. I want some yellow down here and I might want some gold up here. I like the shiny taffeta because it's pale. It means it's easy to put something else over. I'm going to try and clean my spatula off to a degree. I think I want actually to have something a little darker. So that's the Tuscan Sun. No restraints today. No time constraints. I'm having a good time. I really, really, really am. I think I'm going to put some paint right onto, get rid of that chip first. Orange Crush. Prison pour. Where was I going to put it? <laughs> right there, maybe. Put it right onto the spatula. I want a Princeton Art Dull Catalyst spatula. Okay. 
which is actually a good tool for this as well. Just take some of that right off there and make that blue even pop even more than it already has. I'm really tempted to run some of this right along that edge though. Not sure I like it. Not yet anyway. Let's whip off my spatula. I might be done for today. Hard telling. I want to put some paint down. Maybe right on my silicone mat. Get rid of whatever that is. There's a filament there. I could put some green in here. That might be really interesting. I don't use green often enough. Although I just did a What did I call it? A forest spring. That was very abstract expressionist. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I said that already, I know. Let's turn it around again. Turn that white blue. I do want it. I do want some more of that white. And I like the way it works, just dipping into the, sp the spatula into it create lines. Very much actually. I have to not mind that there's some canvas texture. I have to stop deciding I want to color a place and then forgetting where that place was. But I believe I guessed right this time. I'm going to get rid of that paint again. There's some strange stuff in there, but I think we're okay. I think I want some more of that right in there. So it's a geometric. The one in the hallway has sort of got rounded corners. I see something in there that needs to go. And I might decide I'm done before I add any texture because I really kind of like this a lot. I'm going to put some more sour lemon with orange crush right there. craving that green. I put my painting right down in the white. I gotta get rid of that because it was so unlevel, but now it's a nice texture. I 
Never mind having a few squares. I really haven't done that before. Usually I don't try and define anything. The texture is good. Paint is a little sticky, but it's allowing me to pull up through the to the color in the background, and I like it. There, I think I'm done for now. I think I can be call that good and happy, and. Uh, I'll tell you whatever I need to tell you to close out the video um, when I show you the, des the dried result. I do want to see what the green would look like in there though. So maybe I'm not done right this second. Maybe I'm going to try it. Maybe I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do a piece of tongue depressor. I can get one out of my... There, I've got a nice short one. Hopefully I've got a straight side. I like it with the blues. I don't think I want a lot, but I don't mind a little. She said wondering if she was telling the truth or not. Once you start, it's hard to stop. I really don't mind having leftover paint from a prior mark. That's not bothering me. I guess I'm still going because I haven't... Oh, there's a spatula underneath my painting. Because the timer hasn't gone off yet. I don't think I had anything to complain about before, but I'm not minding it now either. There. What have I got left in my little pile of... That's cool. I kind of want some orange there. I guess I'm not done. I guess I was lying when I said I was. kind of wish it was saffron. But I don't mind that it's not either. Like little prism, little reflections. Sorry about my head every time. Well, not every time, but too many times. There, before I go too far overboard, I think I better contemplate stopping. I know, you've heard it all before. You can't trust me. But I'm going to stop anyway. Alright. 
Love you guys. Let me see if I can shimmer this at you. I'm not sure there's any point. Alright. Ooh, glittery. And fun. Good colors. Cheerful colors. I needed to be cheered up today. <laughs> Seriously. And uh, if I don't love it, and I do, if I don't love it tomorrow, or if I feel like being more creative, I will uh, go in there with some texture tools and have a good time. I didn't put any cells or anything in there, and I still could do that. But I really like what I have. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in a minute and share with you the dry piece, probably. Have a um, wonderful evening, day, or afternoon. <laughs> Don't forget I give lessons at the house in Springville, Florida, and my email address is under underneath the description and the link tree has all the links on it and uh, don't forget the 20% off color coupon code along with the 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code that will get you Australian flow troll for cell activator and Pebio paints and uh, boom gel which doesn't require cell activator Australian flow troll added to it anyway so thank you um, memberships Ooh, wait I have an announcement Memberships are going to include a whole lot of videos that you can see that will be eventually public, but you get um, precedence if you become a member. Not only that, you help me out immensely, so I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, I'll still be back in a minute to shimmer this at you. See you anon. Priscilla, out for now. Back in a second. So, here I am back again, and it's the next day, and it's dry, and I've I'm kind of torn about what to do, so for now I'm going to do nothing, and I really like what I've got. And my husband likes it the way it is, so I might want to listen to him. My friends feels the same way. Um, but I do have 31 playlists with, uh, with 100 videos each on them, and also everything's organized by topic and genre. My, me my YouTube channel membership is allowing me to... Um, post all kinds of interesting videos with an eventual public date, but way before that members can see them and I'm publishing them all the time now because I have like two or three, two and a half months worth of videos and I can pre-publish them to memberships, which is $9.99 a month. Please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos. You help me out. I really appreciate your support. Your comments keep my morale boosted. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork and uh, under the video that you'll find in the description, my my uh, link tree where I have a couple of websites and uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, uh, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group, my Amazon link where if you shop it's at no how to cost you and it's uh, got volumes one and volumes two of my book because I can un unlimited possibilities on there. The first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube about paint pouring. Uh, also don't forget there's a 20% off color art coupon code for color art products. And uh, it's nice to support Leslie. She's she's a generous spirit. Also, there is a 10% off Pixel Paint Designs coupon code. I'm trying to read across the room. Thank you guys for the kind words in the comments. I think I might have said, but uh, questions are welcome and encouraged. So if you have a question and you'd like an answer, I'm your girl, unless I'm not, in which case I'll tell you somebody else knows. My email address, again, is EASPB, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. This is beautiful and shiny. And uh, I think I'm just going to do another painting because I want to do something like this and then add texture to to it. And I've done a couple before this as well, and uh, I'm enjoying the series. I hope you come again. I post at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think I said that already. But um, if I miss something, you'll see it in another video. Bye for now. I love you guys much. You inspire me always. Priscilla out.